How you doing today, guys? It is October 22nd on a Thursday, 9:28 a.m. The market is about to open shortly. Uh, what I have up is the 15-minute chart of the Russell 2000 index mini size futures, and what I'm looking to do is basically uh, fade the opening gap with two contracts. Um, uh, basically, I'm just looking to uh, short what I consider to be a weak opening, uh, usually a pretty high probability play, and I'm going to pull the trigger right now. Okay, uh, market order was just filled at 602.6, and basically, I'm just looking for this to go down. I'm not going to um, you know, risk too much on this particular play. Uh, when I start to you know feel like it it's gonna reverse on me or anything like that I'll just go ahead and get out it's kind of a risky trade and a high probability trade at the same time it's high probability because when certain parameters are met I'm real confident that it's gonna reverse and go my it's gonna uh, you know it, it, it's gonna when the open is weak it's gonna reverse at the open and go my way but at the same time, if for some reason it doesn't, um, this particular trade doesn't allow for a good stop loss area. So that's the risky part about it. So the market is going to open here in about 20 seconds. I'm going to pause the video. And uh, just as I'm about to close it out, I'm going to bring you guys back. Thanks. Okay, guys, EK Trader, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> it's now 9:32 a.m. and the market is open. Let me just zoom in this chart a little bit. Um, here's where we're at. As you can see, it's finally kind of going my way. Uh, the market's starting to fall a little bit. Okay, now it's kind of moving a little heavier. And um, I'm thinking it'll probably it may end up going to this line but I'm not gonna wait that long it'll probably start puttering out here at around 598 somewhere around this level um, as you can see I've shorted two contracts I'm now up about 440 440 dollars on two contracts um, It's kinda going against me a little bit here but no big deal uh, I still feel like there's a lot more strength to the downside so I'm just gonna hold off not gonna jump the gun and get out too early now in the meantime I'll protect my profit with some stops put a buy stop in here at 601.5 now no matter what happens I've locked in some money even if this thing were to spike back right away for whatever reason you know I've locked in $220 um, not really a big deal, but always better than a loss. Now, one of the keys also is when you start reaching these little flat levels here and levels like here where the market kind of turned, these are the levels uh, that might cause you a little bit of pain and the market will kind of reverse on you a little bit and, and maybe uh, make you get a little antsy. So you kind of have to manage your position, you know, slowly but surely, maybe inching your stop down just a little bit. Every every few ticks that the market goes down, just kind of inching your stop down a little bit. You want to try to lock in it, uh, as much profit as you can. You're never going to lock in everything, but you, you just want to try to do the best you can to, to lock in as much as you can. And here I am stopped out at 320. Anyway, uh, that's it. EK Trader, Informed Trades Pro, opening morning gap fade. Thanks for watching.